So I'm really about to do this. Okay, guys. Well, this is going to be my honest review about multiverses from a player that has over 1,800 hours in the beta and currently, I want to say, over 300 plus on the full release of the game. And I'm just going to say all the goods and all the bads and just everything about multiverses. As you can see, this is going to be a long, long video. Um, they will be time stamped properly, so if you do just want to jump into certain topics to see if I agree with you or you can see what ideas that I have for improvements on something that you're more interested in, then go through the, you know, the timestamp and see that. Also be in the description. You can read, um, you know, which one that you want to jump to. And yeah, um, before we actually get into all these topics, I do want to, um, you know, give two super positive things about PFG, uh, for multiverses is one, your artwork your graphics, your animations, top notch, love it. You make the characters with so much love and I appreciate that. Characters are amazing and the maps are. Uh, two, your netcode. If you're having netcode issues, I'm gonna keep it a buck, it's your connection. There's no ifs, ands, or buts, it's your connection. I've been having the most best time just off the connection alone that's making me enjoy multiverses. And then finally, um, not really a super praise, but I will say it's a praise because of the lack of time that they had to even make this happen was that they put all of this on a whole new engine within a year. Congratulations on that. But at the same time, as a consumer, as a casual, unfortunately, they do not care. We wanted a nice, solid, you know, fitting game. And unfortunately, that wasn't fully delivered. It is definitely improving, you know, because the honeymoon stage is over. It's been over a month. And I can say the game is getting better. But it's just very sad that that's what has to happen, you know, instead of it just being good off rip. So let's just get straight into the topics. First one. Oh, how, how I'm gonna be going based off of these topics are pretty much kind of pretty much saying what I don't like about it, if anything has improved, and then finally giving my like solution or you know, et cetera, how you could get better because yeah, there's a whole bunch. But yeah, first thing, riffs. Um, I think riffs are a cool idea. Just execute it in a very poor matter because right now. Riffs are nothing. They mean nothing. You get nothing for doing riffs. And I know some of y'all are saying, what are you talking about, guys? You're, you're going to get Agent Smith. Yes, from an event. An event enabled riffs to give it a meaning. But besides that, riffs gave no value besides gems, which you can only use in riffs. So right now, yes, playing riffs mean nothing besides you know having that event. Um, another thing that I truly dislike is the difficulties. Uh, but I think the difficulties are very, um, makes no sense. For example, experience. This difficulty is only available on early season riffs. Why? Why, why did y'all choose to do something like that? It kind of just doesn't make sense in my opinion. And yeah, some people, well, my theory pretty much is, is like, oh, they don't want you to unlock Agent Smith early. Well, cool. You could have just pushed them back more here. So, you know, in line with whatever, you know, uh, battle, not battle pass, event that you had, say how many bosses you had to beat. I think it's just weird to kind of just block off because now you're forcing us to go back to a rift that we already played multiple times, as you can see, to do it later again um, on a harder difficulty. I just think that was very bad. Um, also, again, this loony thing, it doesn't unlock until July 10th. Again, I kind of get it, but at the same time, it's like, why? I don't know. It just feels weird. On top of that, going back to the difficulties, the difficulties aren't even challenging. I'm sorry. Um, I feel like my five-year-old nephew can beat these stuff. Um, and I know it's supposed to be on the more casual side. 100% I agree. But the bots don't feel rewarding. They just hit harder and you take more damage. There's no real like difficulty besides you know getting BS. It feels like a glorified arcade. You remember arcade when you you know beat it and then the last two people are kind of challenging because they're like demon level and they just do massive damage and then finally you go beat up the big rain dog or you're playing twos you get two big rain dog and they're like god tier hitting you with crazy hit boxes and stuff that's how it feels um now i will give credit i do enjoy the cool game modes that they made up you know the the um the casual stuff with the jump ropes the cards and all that stuff um also the boss fights i think all the boss fights are amazing besides that goddamn mega shark <laughs> rain dog that was something but other than that i really do enjoy all that that's pretty cool but other than that there's just no value in riffs at all. Like a solution, I think that would have been the best thing. I know a lot of people might not like to hear this. Was do a pay to wall. Uh, you should have made it cost twenty to thirty dollars, and the the value of getting it is that you get premium rewards, hencing like skins. Because right now, that's another issue. That, well, not issue for me, unfortunately, but I know a lot of people have issues where they can't do certain riffs because they don't own a character, they don't own a skin, they don't own all that stuff, and it's just a weird thing to do. Kind of like lock behind a wall 
But again, there's no rewards. Like, again, the only thing rewards is the event. So that's another bad thing. I think it would have been cool where, you know, if you, you know, bought it, you got those skins. You know, you got, for beating that boss or beating that stage, you got this skin, you got this banner, all this, it gave a reason. And then, you know, the free, free to play version is you just play it and then you level up your gems and et cetera and the event still works. But yeah, I just, I don't know. I just feel like it's very lackluster in general. Like you're, everyone's only doing it for Agent Smith, literally. And it's only for two weeks. So if you really don't care to play this character two weeks early, guess what? You can just wait till 14 days and never touch Rifts. So it really gave no purpose of this game mode. And I think it's very sad. I think they could have did a little bit more on this. Up next is game modes. Let's check the game modes out. 2v2, 1v1. And now we have free-for-all. Before free-for-all wasn't a thing, now we have free-for-all. Um, feels lackluster. I feel like we're missing something. We had Silly Q. What happened to Silly Q? Um, the best thing that I've been saying about Silly Q on my stream for the most of the time is that you could literally take something that you already have in your game and put it into Silly Q. For example, Rifts. Rifts have these mutators. You can literally make an infinite fun game mode that can generate three ran random mutators and just change the whole game and make it more fun and entertaining for your casual side, man. Like you have all this stuff, hammer time, raining things, sandwiches. You could change it to the game of where you play the card game. You could change it to where y'all do jump ropes. I could change it to where y'all beat up the treasure and who gets the most points win. You could do all this stuff and it just wasn't done. Um, I hope plans are definitely to use it because I think this was such a cool thing that they could use in Silly Q. Um, there's nothing else to really do besides fight, which, you know, I kind of get that for fighting games, but at the same time, you need to open it up. For example, customs. Let's go to customs. Uh, we only have the three game modes, you know, whatever. Ring outs. Your max is five. Why can't we do more? Your max time is seven minutes. Why can't I just do infinite time and, you know, do stuff and test stuff out? And I'm not even... I'm, the lab will be later, but yeah. I, I would love to see cool things. Oh, go have infinite specials. Go have infinite jumps. Go have infinite dodges. Change the gravity. Change the speed. Like, there's so much more things you could do. Give us some maps. I'm going to talk about that later, too, because there's a lot. There's so much I want to talk about. But yeah, like, it just doesn't feel creative. It doesn't feel like I could do that much in the game right now. And I, I really wish more stuff like that gets added. Battle Pass and the Battle Pass XP gain. I'm happy that they finally added it, but at the same time, why wasn't it added at the start? Don't get me wrong. I kind of got the idea. I guess they want everyone to be in the same line of getting rewards and stuff. But at the same time, why? I feel like no game ever done that. It's kind of just like, oh, you want to grind more than you're more than welcome to. And this game kind of hindered that. I think it was really weird call out. Um, I can't sugarcoat it. It, it really the, it made the first two weeks like a living hell. There was no point of playing the game besides learning a new game and that's fine but at the same time it's like i need another reason to play besides just beating up random people in queue you know I, it, it was really weird it was a really weird moment battle passes um i think battle passes in my opinion will always just be shit um i'm not saying this is shit but um I, you know it's a battle pass you're getting a lot of stuff for 10 bucks like you can't expect the most craziest thing um i will say w on the whole prestige you know tokens you know being equivalent versus not just buying stuff, you go also get in the battle pass. I think that's awesome, great. Gleaning in, in the battle pass too, awesome, great. I, to me, I didn't care, but I know a lot of people wanted that. I'm happy for that. You know, now you could buy the next season pass, and I think you get like a hundred extra or two hundred extra gleaning too. Great. The whole character locked in the battle pass, it doesn't bother me too much because Valorant kind of does the same thing where you have to pay ten dollars or you have to wait. I think a whole month before you play it. It's a free to play game. They gotta make money somehow, right? They gotta give you a reason to, to to get you know these type of stuff, which is fine in my opinion. What's not fine in my opinion, which or which feels really weird and makes no sense, is hiding behind badges behind uh, a battle pass. I get it. You need to fill up the battle pass and the stuff. And I think you did a cop out with the whole gem booster, which again, it makes sense. You know, you have a PVE mode and people want to level up their stuff. You get a freebie. I understand that, but ring outs. Again, I'm gonna talk about the character leveling stuff too, but ring outs. Why is this behind a a, a pay one? It, these two are behind a paywall, while you know there 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 is you know free ones by just playing it. But I don't, I don't get it. That it feels weird. This should have been part of the the, the level character um the character leveling character leveling. <laughs> so you know when you get your characters, you get cool stuff like Wonder Woman wins. Cool. Why isn't the KO also in this one? And also, um. 
I feel like the rewards felt a little lackluster. You just gave us a whole bunch of perk currency and fighter currency, and then you ended off with Gleanium. Again, I think the Gleanium ending was actually an awesome idea. Cool. But, like, I, I wish that there was one of win wins. Then right here was, you know, the badge of the KOs. Then, you know, something else could have been, like, a banner. Then a profile picture. And then, you know... After level 15, maybe at level 20, 25, you got like an exclusive skin for being the highest, uh, you know, like a mastery level. Because right now the mastery is 15, but, you know, mastery level 20, 25. And then you could infinitely keep leveling up. If you didn't know, you can't infinitely level up. I think it's bugged right now, or I could be wrong. Um, but at least when I first saw it, once you hit level 16, that's it. That you can't even go higher than that. At, at least from what I've seen. It probably got fixed, it probably got changed, and no one had really seen it. And that's another topic that I do want to talk about. You can't really see character levels um, besides your own, but yeah, uh, I, I really wish the character leveling, um, was a little bit better. Next topic is labbing, no two labs and tutorial. Th there's nothing I could really talk about or sugarcoat, bro. We lost so many more features than we had in the beta, bro. The beta had so much. Now we only have his normal attack, normal special fight, and then dodging in a whole bunch of different ways, and that's literally it. And sometimes the dodging don't even work, bro. You can hit the bot sometimes, and they still want to dodge properly, you know, the, the timing that they can. It, it's all a mess. We lost so many other features, bro. We got the maps, cool, but, bro, we, we, we lost so much things. Um, again, multiverses. It's a 2v2 game focus. There's no two labbing. Why can't I lab with my teammate combos and see what's true and cool combos? I know many games that can do it. There's a game called Diesel Legacy, not even out yet. You can have three people in the lab. You got two on the same team, one on the opponent team, and the final one being a bot. I, I just feel like there's a lot of stuff missing. And then the tutorial. Uh, I don't think the tutorial was bad, but God, I think we need an advanced tutorial again because, bro, the, this, the old one showed a lot of stuff. This one barely shows anything. Oh, did you know armor, armor break moves break um, projectiles? No? Well, it's because they never said it. Um, do y'all know what IED, uh, IADRs? Um, instant aerial dodges? No. The devs have been talking about it on their social media, which is cool. But again, there's just something that's like implemented. And that was even like a, a cool tech. I guess, you know, how fighting games, they find tech and stuff. The devs find the tech and are kind of like making it tech. In my opinion, not saying it's weird, but it just feels weird. Like this is something that's founded by them, but wasn't promoted. Like, hey, this is something. Besides social media, which again this is great, but I don't know. I just feel like that should be in the tutorial. I don't know. I I I don't think a dev finding a tech versus a community finding something that wasn't properly implemented is different. I don't know. New content modes, characters, game modes. I feel like the only content we've been getting is riffs um events the only real content i guess we got was top dog but even then that wasn't crazy um these riffs have different maps new mode did y'all did y'all know there's water tower did y'all know there's a, a a map with just a big computer um edited maps that just have ledges and stuff i think stuff like that would be cool it doesn't have to be in queue i guess but it could have been in customs the water tower map literally looks complete that computer map looks complete. You could throw those maps into the pool. Why? Why? Uh, court two. Court two. Now in the game, but it wasn't before. But court two was already shown super early in the game, and it was in rifts. You know, characters. I think. I think the trailer um, with you know Jason and Agent Smith was very misleading. It kind of showed like more characters coming. This is the season of villains. Don't get me wrong, three characters off for release of a game is awesome. I thought I just thought that that was the reward for us, you know, Jason, um, Joker, and Banana Guard. That was just a reward for us waiting for the game, and then we're going to get like two to three more characters. Again, I don't think we needed a character every two weeks like they did in the beta. That was insane. But you kind of misled us. I, I really thought we were going to get more villains, bro. Like, we didn't get anything. I, I'm kind of shocked. You know, honestly, I'm I'm really shocked. <laughs> um, and then again, modes. Yeah, we got free for all. I wasn't free for all thing off rip. Uh, like again, I'm not trying to beat the dead horse, but it's like I don't know. I just feel like a lot of stuff that we had are kind of giving us like, like are kind of being given to us like a reward now. It's like, I mean, it's cool to have, but it's like we kind of already did have it. Local mode. Um, unfortunately, I can't really show all of it, but right now, let's just say if you don't own the characters. Unfortunately, they are locked, which is very sad. Um, w on the whole 
Um, what is it called? Uh, where is it called? Ah, here we go. The the controls. Finally, you can save your profiles. I think that's awesome. Thank you, PFG, for finally doing that. Um, and then there's a big bug in LAN. Um, I'll see if I can get the clip. But pretty much someone did a, like a local tournament in Florida. And there was a bug where you're like, you know, your two teammates, or, you know, your teammates, uh, 2v2, they were like swapped. Team one ring outs weren't counting, but they were counting like, it counted, but it wasn't showing it. It's, it's, it's a little buggy, uh, but nothing too crazy. Currency. Um, I think it's really, really bad now living with it with a month. Um, at first, I thought it was cool seeing the fighter and perk currency because it's like because before it was like, oh, cool. Now we could kind of know what currency is being saved for. And, you know, it has its own direction, right? You didn't have to split and decide, oh, do I want to use go for this now and this guy and this now? It kind of just like, hey, this will be for this. This will be that. That's awesome. But over time, when you get a lot... <laughs> like I have, which this was already like a lot from beta because all it did was transfer it um, back to me. Um, now I have all this perk currency sitting here forever. And there's nothing I could do. I think it would have been cool if like when I was getting those rewards like from Top Dog or like the missions and stuff and it kind of gave you currency and you could pick and choose, oh, do I want fighting currency or do I want perk currency? I think that would have been better. But as it is, it is set in stone, you know, what currency you get. So you get a whole bunch of nothing and again, for someone like me that already have all my characters, I get a whole bunch of nothing. Where back in the beta, you know, when they had their events and all that stuff, um, I could use it for certain things. I could buy stuff with gold. This is kind of like, oh no, you got to get everything with Gleanium, which I will respect them. They're giving away Gleanium like goddamn candy. I don't even know how they make it money, but they're giving that shit away like crazy. Um, prestige tokens. I think that's an awesome idea. It um, you know, says, hey, because you're getting more skins and all that stuff, we're going to reward you with be able to buy cooler skins and stuff. I think that's awesome. That's great. Um, I will say I wish this again, this, 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 they did it now, which is awesome. You know, they're showing you, hey, you get currency. I wish they pre-did that. Again, I just feel like these are like little quality of life that should have just been off rip. But again, us guessing or don't even knowing that, oh, well, we get prestige tokens for doing the battle pass too. Cool. No one knew that. I made videos about it to tell people, and they're like, oh, shoot, I didn't even notice. Oh, yeah, i just seen it randomly. It's just like a little information that I think we really needed to know. Match stats and just stats in general. One, W on them adding match stats finally, but why do I have to turn it on? I think that's a little weird. I actually had a conversation with my friends today. They were like, it feels toxic to, to go see you know your match stats versus just showing everybody. It's kind of like you're going to go look like... What did my teammate do? You know, it, it just feels a little weird. I think they didn't finish it, just added it. Um, two, match stats are broken already. Um, I, I have many proofs or experiences where it says, oh, I did this much damage when I know goddamn well I did more damage. Again, I had a conversation with a friend today. Yo, I literally heard him. He was so excited. He's, he's like, yo, I'm beating the hell out of these guys. And I made a joke like, oh, bro, these match stats are broken. Like, that thing's going to say you only did like 120 damage. Bro, when he came out, it said he did 76. When he, he was like, yo, I hit every Jerry shot. I hit every um, dynamite. How did I only do that? Remember, it's four stocks. It, it, it's just messed up. Also, character levels, bro. Why can't I see my opponent's character level? I, I just don't get why stuff like that are being removed, you know? Uh, again, I feel like stuff like this, if you feel like it's toxic, give us a setting. I personally would like to see it. Again, it gives more value, like, oh, yeah, level six. I don't know. It's just seeing stuff like that, just, it's like, I don't know, just feels better versus a whole bunch of nothing on my screen. It's like, cool, I just finished the game. Move on now, uh, you know? Also, more match stats. Like, I would love to see how many specials that I connected, how many normal attacks I connected, how much time I was in the air, you know? Bro, all we have is the basic damage and KOs. You still have been telling me how many times I personally died. <laughs> no rank, no esports. Again, it just feel like we went backwards. How do we go from a beta, a beta, dropping a honey cat Evo, um, rain dog event, sponsored lands, um, you know, their their uh, seasonal thingy, um, tor tournament online to nothing again on release and uh, people still don't know yes we did have rank um, we had play tests of rank um back in the beta and then the rank actually released in february very late but it did release um and then again we we dropped with no rank now if you've been keeping up and been playing the game they finally did state oh the reason why they didn't drop rank is because they want the game to be more balanced i think that's awesome to let us know but i just felt like it was so late i felt like if you told us at the beginning of the game 
day one, day two, like, hey, guys, the reason why Ring is now is because we want you to play the game and, you know, get these characters filled out so we can, like, balance the game as soon as possible for Rank. I think that would have been a, a great, like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, we're going to teach you or show you, you know, this isn't right, this is too much. Da, da, da. They didn't do that. They took so long to where it's now is like, not say it feels like an excuse, but it feels it feels too late to be told, you know? I mean, and then on top of that, I'm not going to say why the game wasn't balanced because obviously, you know, all games going to be thinking and you're not going to figure out every, you know, broken stuff. Um, and then again, no esports. There hasn't been no talks about anything. Hasn't really been any, you know, thingy. They have a whole pit. It just feels like stuff has been taken away from us. It feels weird. Um, also, um, I didn't talk about this in customs, which I should have said. W on the spectating mode, guys. I'm happy that finally came in. But again, it was removed. Not removed, just not made in time, I guess. Bro, there were so many big tournaments at the start of the game, bro. So many. And it was just was just a missed opportunity because, you know, these TOs had to go to stream to stream. And if people weren't streaming, then they couldn't get in. They had, it, it was just really bad. And it's like, again, I applaud them for doing all this within a year and, you know, slowly adding a feature that we already had. That's awesome. As a player that cares for the game, awesome. But again, as a consumer, we don't care. We don't care how it's done. We just want a fun working game. And when stuff like this isn't there with no explanation, it hurts because it's like, bro, why does it feel like I'm playing a second beta? That's how it feels. I felt like if they were more vocal about certain things like this, we'll be more understanding. But when you just kind of do something and kind of just like, did, did they notice? Did it? Did they notice? Like, like for example, the, the match stats, I'm not going to lie. I didn't even notice the first day or two until people was like, yo, where are the match stats? I said, what the, where are the match stats? Again, one thing I did notice, no character level. I'm like, bro, I want to see what character level I'm going against, et cetera. I barely noticed when I leveled up, bro. Like, at the end of the match, you don't see it really. It's, it just felt weird. I don't know. It just felt really weird. Events. Um, it feels so lackluster. Um, I will say I do appreciate the fringe skins. Like, they've really been giving out a lot of, you know, cool skins. I appreciate that. But at the same time, your events in the beta were so much better, bro. Someone said that the best, these events feel like glorified missions because that's what they are. It literally, you know, I appreciate the picture, the artwork and stuff. That's awesome. But right now, these events really are just, hey, do these missions that you just do and then you just get you know your cool reward uh i think again your old events were just better playing the game period um and getting this you know candy corn or whatever points and then using it in a shop would have been 10 times better imagine just buying xp choosing what you want to purchase and stuff you just feel more intertwined versus yeah go go play a dc comic character well what if i just like playing tom and jerry and that's it yeah go play pve I already told myself I'm not going to play PvE because there's nothing to gain from, you know, stuff like that. And it kind of, I get it, forces you to do other things and other characters, which is awesome. But at the same time, it's just missions. It, that's all it really is. And I, again, I do appreciate the cool skins and the free skins that they be given. Um, but another one, Top Dog. Top Dog, I think, um, really is just a, a, a system test, you know, for a bigger thingy, you know, it's like leaderboards and stuff. I think Top Dog would have been better if, one, the rewards were better. Perk currency, come on. You know people have been complaining about the fighting currencies and et cetera, getting characters. You, you could have, you like, hey, okay, you played a lot. You know, here, here are some more currencies. I'll unlock another character or get closer to locking a character. Um, and then two, you should have locked it to like two to three hours per day or something. Having this thing run for three days was kind of wild um, because it really was this luck base. You could either get in with Timmy and Tammy and only have to gain like 2,000 XP or you could go with fucking Bugsy and Mirror Man grinding out nearly 200, 300k. If you saw me and Riley go against that for nearly 120k and then Mirror Man and G3 going nearly 300k just to get a goddamn badge. <laughs> like, you know, it could have been better if it was like, oh, within the two hours in your region, you know, who did the best? And, you know, there's still a whole bunch of small brackets, but, you know, it would have made it more fun and more entertaining. Like, it's a race versus, oh, because I stream all day or because I have more free time than you, I'm going to win this event. Stuff like that. And also another issue... They should add rules to this thing. Um, if you didn't know, when you played the top dog, um, you had a one and done. That was the best way to, to improve in that, or not improve, get XP. Playing someone multiple times did not matter. And that just wasn't said. No one knew until people finally found out. And then down the line, when they made the second one, then you could have did more than one of those, right? You could. I think it was like you could win three matches against someone and they will all count. But again, no one knew. I think just stuff like that, this needs to be like rules and that's being put into uh, I really hope the events do get better because they are pretty bad. I do appreciate all the rewards, you know, seeing these rewards or these skins for free. Awesome. But it could have been done better.
<sighs> Info just being off, not being 100%, random guessing. And the best one I'm going to start with is Agent Smith. When I first got into the game, this is what everyone saw. Beat Riffs, get Agent Smith for free. Everyone's hype. They're like, wait, we can't get Agent Smith off rip. Come to find out, you couldn't. Yes, you had to beat the bosses. Yes, you could earn them two weeks early. But it didn't give us a time frame of when he can actually be unlocked. Because as you can see, one, there wasn't that many rifts. Two, there were difficulties hidden by rifts. And yeah, it was just it was just so poorly designed of like what the rules were, how can you get them, etc. And it was just a guessing game. Another one, when Top Dog first dropped, there wasn't no open and claim and ends and all this stuff. When you first joined, it literally said there's a date where it ends. But when you click on it, there was another date where it ends. And it was just so misleading. No one knew that this date was when it closes and then this next date was for redeeming only or claiming only. It, it was just a mess. Prestige points. Yeah, we knew buying stuff gave you prestige points. People didn't know that doing the events gave you prestige points, like just earning cosmetics. People didn't know the battle pass could do it, missions, Twitch drops, no one knew that. It was just a guess. And then when it happened, you're like, oh shoot, you can. Um, This one, infinite rewards. I'm not gonna lie, you should give the description. Hey, what can be in here? Did you know you get gleaning in this? I didn't even know that. I randomly got it one time. I was like, oh, cool. You get gleaning in, you can get fighter currency, all that stuff. Because the first few things I did get was um the gem boosters. I thought that's what it was. I was like, oh, wow, it's just gem boosters. No, it's a whole bunch of stuff. Information, you know? Uh, there's just so many things that I could go on and on, but I'm just trying to give you the two main ones. And yeah, uh, it's just, again, could have just been better on the more information on the game. <sighs> Marketing. Um... I'm not really going to go too much on the marketing on like the game just like saying, hey, come play Multiverses because I definitely did see it a lot on TikTok and YouTube and stuff. I definitely did see it. I'm talking about marketing on their social media, about their events, about their skin changes, about their skins that they add. I get, I felt like there was nothing being marketed. Now they're doing it. Like if you, as you didn't know, they they actually promoted the, the new Rift that's coming out Monday. Um... But other than that, I just really didn't feel nothing, right? Like, for example, Top Dog. I think this would have been the cool thing. Hey, come duke it out on a leaderboard and win this cool bet. Post all your social media. Sometime when they do post on social um, social media, it's just Twitter. Bro, you have Instagram, you have Facebook, you have TikTok, you have YouTube. You have all this information. Post it on everywhere. Why are y'all picking and choosing? For example, even back when they were marketing the game, they are posting certain like TikTok videos, and now is it on TikTok. Post it on Twitter. Post it on YouTube. Sure. Why aren't y'all posting? Why aren't y'all pushing that game out? Again, skins. Bro, I feel like some skins be coming and we don't even know when the skins are coming. It's just like, it just, yeah, it just feels like they just throw something and you don't even realize it. And it just, I just feel like they could do so much a better job. Like, hey guys, there's a new shop. Oh, like, hey, now this is in the shop. Y'all should go check it out. They don't do none of that. I don't know why, but yeah. Please improve on that. <laughs> Friendless, bro. Put this in alphabetical order, please, bro. Like, this is just a mess. Like, yeah, you can do offline friends, but still, bro, this is still a mess. Just please. And also allow me to, like, favorite my favorite ones to be in the front of the list. Something, bro. It's it's just a mess. Everything else is fine. I'm nitpicking right here, but I don't think we need the Steam. You know, whatever. I'm nitpicking. But other than that, everything else is fine. I'm happy that there's a refresh button, you know, in case it bugs out and all that stuff. But yeah, please. The store slash skins. Guys. The store and the skins are just all in a bunch of mess. Well, for example, I'm actually giving you an example. This skin that I'm actually wearing right here, this one, right? This was locked behind a like bundle pack for so long. I, all I wanted was a the skin. They were trying to give me other stuff, you know, for a great deal. I didn't want that. Just give me the skin. And I wasn't going in the store trying to purchase it. I was trying to go right here and click go to the shop. And it actually happens again. Look at Rain Dog. Look, Rain Dog, let's just say I want this skin, right? That's it. I don't care about the bundle or anything. I just want this. You're forcing me to buy this bundle pack. Why? Why? I'm literally going here on purpose just to get this. And you're still throwing me in the bundle pack. I think the bundle pack being here and you going to it, as you can see, is fine. But if I'm seeing a skin and you're literally saying, hey, go to the shop to get it, then let me go to the shop and get it. Like this. Or, or, or give me like a, a, a little tab like, hey, this is the skin, but if you click this one, this is a bundle pack. Why are you forcing me to buy a bundle pack that I don't want to buy? I just want him. I just want him. <laughs> I just want him. Stuff like that. Um, two, bro, the skins being like covered or not allowed is so weird. For example, um, for all right, for example, Toon, right? 
almost everyone has a Tuniverse skin, right? Before, no one really did. There was a few characters still missing it. But you know who's still missing it? Steven. Why? I, I feel like y'all could be making so much more money if these skins were, like, all available. Um, they just, some feel like they're just missing, and I don't get why they're missing. Um, or all the shark hats. Let me see if all the shark hats are in the game. Are all the shark hats in the game? Okay, I think, I think all the shark hats are in the game. It should be. Okay, cool. You actually did that one. That's awesome. Um, but I will say, the Matrix skins. Why are the Matrix skins, like, in the game and not in the game, you know? Like, I just feel like when it comes to universal skins like that, wouldn't you want people to just have it? Like, be able to purchase it? Like, I get it. You know, some of them are free and all that stuff. Cool. But, like, the ones that you know aren't going to be free, you could just give it to us. Like, I don't know. I just feel like when it comes to universal stuff like this and this, everyone, it should just be, it should just be there, right? Obviously, the free ones that you're going to give us, you know, obviously don't let us purchase it. Or, you know, after the event is going to be done, you can let us purchase it. As a matter of fact, let us purchase it. Um, You know, if we want to purchase it early, let us purchase it early. But I just, I don't know. I just feel like so many things are missing. And on top of that, this one's just like a pet peeve in my opinion. I feel like they should let us do color variants. Um, at least for your default skin, for your your common skin and your uncommon skins. And then obviously like your legendary and your purple, your epic skins. You probably can't buy it because maybe licensing, licensing won't allow you to change it. But, bro, but at the same time, I want to say that, right? But then back in the beta, you had four color skins. You had your default. You had your team color skin. You had your... Um, your teammate color skin, and you had your enemy color skin. That changed the variant of how characters look. I feel like it's just a missed opportunity not having banana guard. Why can't I just have a red banana guard? A yellow, a blue, a pink, a black, a red. I, I just feel like it's a missed opportunity. I feel like I would spend an extra dollar or two just for a recolor on a skin. Imagine this matrix in blue, in yellow. Imagine, imagine golden million Superman, green, blue, shiny, and all that stuff. I really hope it's a licensing thing, and that's the reason why they can't do it. But I think this is a missed opportunity on free money. And like I said, even if, like I said, if epic and legendary skins variants can't be a thing, that makes sense, right? But bro, for your uncommon, for your your rare variants, I feel like it's a missed opportunity. Even this, bro. I would like to have a, I don't know, a goddamn green Superman with a shark hat. With a green shark. I don't know. I just feel like there's so many things that could be added with come, when it comes to skins and... Again, a better paywall purchase on skins. Ah, it just feels all over the place, bro. It just doesn't feel completed. <sighs> Settings. Now, I do want to say I appreciate PFG for adding the right up stick and all that stuff. I'm super happy that was in the game off rip. But not having the neutral dodge, not having the side attack, you know, ground swap, all this stuff. Not having the, what is it, the input buffer. Not having the fast fastfall method was insane i i just don't even get how that was fine or yeah i felt like that was okay um also i also want to talk about the unresponsive the game feels at first i really thought it was the input buffer because i felt like the input buffer was just overall in the game like anything you did was just 30 frames um but back in the beta you know the, the input buffer would just be like you know queuing up your move after pressing another button you know people that spam and that was me i was the type to do that but i just knew how to do it in a way where it just felt normal um, in this game, I guess there's more end lag or whatever on these characters. So this is probably this is definitely a skill issue type of thing. But some things do just feel very iffy, yucky. Um, also, the whole um, delay on like neutral dodging with the actual button feels very off. It, it's, it just feels weird. Again, W, everything being added now. I do appreciate that. I'm happy, but very weird that it wasn't on release. I feel like y'all were already doing settings. It should have just been there also. I don't know. I don't know. Bugs slash infinites. This is a weird topic because it's always going to happen in every game. You know, bugs and, you know, crazy combos and stuff. But I just feel like there's a lot of just insane things that, like, I feel like if the gameplay was really solid, like, Multiverse's gameplay was super solid on the release, we would have been in a better state. But because of all that crazy stuff that we had to deal with, Bugs' is goddamn safe and his crazy nair um steven literally just spamming there non-stop taz's loop 
Harley Loop. There was just so, but but uh, LeBron's Infinite Basket, bro. There was just so much crazy stuff. It was just, it was just insane. It it was honestly insane. There's nothing else I want to say. I just want to blab a little bit about that. <laughs> <sighs> gameplay. I think the one everyone was definitely waiting for for the longest. I just want to save it for last because I think I'm really going to yap a long time for this one because there's so much things to talk about. Uh, let's start with the first one. Um, hit stun. Uh, I think the hit stun in this game is insanely crazy. I don't think no game should have hit stun like this. This is absurd. Um, it is not fun. Um, it definitely feels like a lot of stuff that you should get out of. You just don't. And it just feels yucky. Um, next thing I will talk about is the speed. I think for this game, this current build that we have, the speed is fine. I do get people wanted to be increased. Um, again, I'm so used to it. It kind of just doesn't bother me. But I, I could kind of get it, you know, from the beta and this. We could definitely find a better middle ground. But I don't think it's that bad as everyone makes it seem. Um, knockback. <sighs> I don't know who in PFG... Or how did the team decided that exploding was a great thing? Uh, it's probably one of my big, it's probably like my second pet peeve next to hit stunning. Um, the knockback in this game is insanely absurd. It 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 is it feels really out of place for a lot of characters. And bro, you really just blow up on characters. It's actually insane. And then oh god forbid you di incorrectly just a, just for a nanosecond, you are dead. And it it is just crazy. Um, gameplay wise when it comes to projectiles. I feel like the projectiles in this game is does not have a proper system. Um, or at least again, this is the thing with tutorials. They kinda ha I wish they kinda just explained um projectiles because back in the beta we had light projectiles, medium projectiles, heavy projectiles. And some stuff were called like light special, medium special, heavy special, because you know, whatever thingy, it made sense. Um, as a team, you know, I feel like they really did a good job, you know, making stuff make more sense, clashing and all that stuff. Right now, it just feels like it's all over the place. We have Rain Dog, Fireball, absorbing a whole bunch of stuff. We have things clashing, but then beating other things and then not beating everything. But yet, they're all mostly medium projectiles. And then we gave goddamn um, Superman his ice breath being buggy with, like, over freezing something so when you get hit by it it puts over the stack of 15 so you don't even get frozen you just get move move lock stun which that's just a bug but still it's like how does stuff like that got through um the comboing in the game some stuff do feel right but some stuff just feels off um like like i just feel like certain combos that you would think that you could, that you should get out of again it just goes back to hit stunning it just doesn't feel right you know i feel like i feel like if they went like the burnout route like for example you have no meter some of these combos or these cra crazy combos that we've seen or dealt with would been more reasonable it's like okay i'm in burnout that's why he's able to do all this crazy stuff on me cool but the fact that you're not and you're just like nearly dying to you know shaggy jab jab you know back then joker uh if he hits you a certain way side special the side special would just kill you finn's goddamn jab jab thing it's like Stuff like that just it just rubs me the wrong way. It's like, yo, how do we get like this? Um the the hitbox, bro. Um it's it's like a double edged sword because one, the hitboxes aren't too crazy, but at the same time the hitboxes are crazy. So I'll give you an example. A lot of, of those like screenshots that people are getting are fake. They're getting hit. If you take it frame by frame, they're getting hit. But what makes it look so fucked up is in this game is what I noticed is that when you get hit, you get into a hit animation and based off of your character, they will do a certain position. And sometimes those positions make them seem like they're a mile away. So that's what happens. They're getting hit because they, they extended their hurt box or whatever, et cetera, you know, their hurt box, et cetera. And they get hit but because they're at a certain location, you know, that was just them reaching out. They get hit to where they were. And it looks like, whoa, what the hell? What is this? In reality, you did get hit. But on top of that, there are still some criminal characters like Bugs, Bat Up Air, uh, I forgot his name, Black Adams, Clap, and many others that should not be hitting. You know, IG, they fixed that a little bit. It, it just, excuse me, it just, it just feels like we went backwards again. It's like, yo, we dealt with this already. 
I feel like we get a lot of feedback back in the beta. I feel like the ending of the beta was awesome. I think like there's only really three bad characters, or not bad characters, like really criminal characters was like Superman, Finn, and like one other character. But everyone else kind of felt more aligned. Yes, her hitbox was still kind of broken, but we were in a better state. And now, again, I understand the game is freshly rebuilt and all that stuff, but how is it freshly rebuilt, right? Because they didn't just copy and paste it over, but yet we got the copy and paste over of like the beginning of the beta. For example, how the hell did Bugs's Nair PS came back and worse, even stronger? Um, how do we have Gizmo running around with infinite am um, arrows that is like nearly uncontestable, dodgeable? He can have infinite arrows. God damn, lower that speed of that arrow. But every arrow is launching like a goddamn. AK, a sniper coming at us. Harley. <sighs> Her combos feel like glue. It feels like anytime you do any moves, it just goes into his stuff. Stuff just don't feel correct. We have Bite having... Oh, the no cooldowns. Oh my god, no cooldowns on, on the characters. Just feel off, bro. I have Bite going crazy. We have Black Adam having no cooldown. I think he has one new cooldown, thank god. But like... How do we get here? You know, after all that feedback, after all that playing, how do we get back to this craziness? No tactic A? Yo, I know some people would think it's dumb. I think no I think tactic A was like one of the best things because it 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 nullifies good moves, right? Like in fighting games there are always gonna be those great moves that just happen because that's just the character. I understand. But to be able to abuse it over and over and over because that's just the best option to do. I just felt like it was always a cop out. It's like I'm in disadvantage already. God, give me give me a lenient some way to somewhat survive. It's like no, I'm just gonna keep hitting you. Like for example, I have a Joker clip. Just just keep, keep swinging up. Why? Cause what are you gonna do? You're in disadvantage. There's nothing you can do. Yeah, there's staling and you know the date the date the frame data gets worse. I guess, but not worse enough to where you could counter it. After I read you once or twice, that is it. After you're out of dodges, there is nothing you could do. I could just keep spamming the same thing over and over, and you're just gonna die there's nothing you could do um again no, the, uh, it's just uh bro this is it's just so much that it just feels like i don't know just in my head it just makes more sense like you know x y and z being like this and it's like how do we get back to this how do, who who thought it was okay for wonder woman to kill us at goddamn 60 80 on middle of the stage bro and then again going back to knock the knockback bro I'm sorry for yapping. I really am just yapping right now. But, like, the knockback on certain things, like Harley Hammer, bro, you would think, like, you would get hit a certain way, and you would just get sent straight up. Again, the exploding. It just felt like certain things that you should be able to DI or properly, like, you know, align, like, okay, I can survive a little longer. You just get hit. You just go. You're just gone. And it's just like, oh, okay. I, I, I just don't get the enjoyment out of that. And... I'm I'm saying all this from a place of love, because I really do enjoy this game. I really do love this game, but I'm not gonna lie. If you if you are from my stream, if you are my friend, if you if you are someone that just keeps up with me in general with this game, you know I've been playing this game less and less and less. I played that beta with that horrible net code, but somehow still played it because of rank or whatever, and played it multiple hours. Now I barely want to do that. I barely want to get on for an hour. God, Lee, when I start my streams, bro, I'm hyped for first 10 minutes. And then all the hype just goes like, oh, yeah, this is that. Oh, yeah, I'm doing this. Oh, yeah, this is how you're supposed to play. And it just, like, it just sucks the fun out of it. Out of, and then the small issues, like, you know, your 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 infinite, your vulnerable frames is disappearing and stuff just not making sense and... Uh, I just, I don't know, man. It just gets draining over a while. <laughs> Again, I'm just yapping right now, but God, it just, multiverses just doesn't feel like multiverses anymore. And I really do hope we get into a better line in season two. If you didn't know, season two is literally happening in like 16 days. I hope we get a lot of stuff that's been missing, improved gameplay and all that stuff. Um... Yeah, I think that's just the video.